All right, let's go and uh, let's go uh, crude oil first. All right, this is a template that Gerald's sending out to all all, all members. Uh, we have three time frames right beside each other. We have the nine sim right here, nine sim Rico, thirty days back. That's our largest sim Rico that we have in the template. Right next to that, we have the five sim Rico, thirty days back. And then right beside that, we have the shortest Rinko bar, which is the three sim Rinko. Now, over to the left, obviously, we have market profile still. Let me show you how to do alignment. I sent a lot of charts out yesterday. It's been working like this in all markets to catch these uh, big moves. The nine sim Rinko, I like to use not so much the arrows, waiting for the arrows to fire. They're not as important to me as the five and the three with the arrows. What's important to me is this retracement. What you'll find is on the nine is you will get some nice little setups based upon the retracement with trends. So I like to see where the trend's at so I can align my five and three sim trades. Like we had some beautiful trades here this morning already. So if I look, this right here is a full retracement on the nine sim. You see that you're ready for a big launch, a launch to the upside on any market you trade. This works on all futures. It doesn't matter what you look at, even forex stocks and currency. So you can see the MA cross. We don't use MAs for support resistance per se, but to look for retracements and also look for trend direction. You get a real clear scope that the trend's up on crude today. So when we came down and tested here a little bit ago, that full retracement, that magenta MA, look what it did also on the five sim Rinko also. You can see on the five sim that it tested the shorter term MA. So now I got confluence. I got the nine sim and the five sim. And what do we do over here? We fired an arrow right at a full retracement of the three sim. That's how you have full alignment, and that's not even half of it. I mean, the, the all of it. If I look over here on what happened with market profile, it actually broke and retested HVA also. Remember, these three levels of market profile are the most important: the thin red, thin green, and these red, blue, and red green levels. But that's even without market profile. That's not even looking at market profile. That's having structure on your large time frame, you'll see a lot of trades that fire off in the direction of the overall five or nine. The five or nine will give you overall structure of overall trend development and retracements. And you don't necessarily have to have the nine all the time in your direction if the five is testing and the three is firing. When you get all three aligning and you get a retracement, you have full alignment, and you get these real big pronounced moves. So you can really cherry pick your trades. For instance, let's go over to uh, gold real quick, Gerald. If I look at gold in this last trade, Gerald, uh, fire up gold, move over to gold if you can. If you look at gold, that just fired off too. I'm going to blow up the three a little bit. You can see the alignment that you had with the five. The five turned up. And this is not really a strong trending market. The nine is actually in a overall downtrend, the sideways market. But that's the type of alignment you want to see because you can see that both markets had alignment. So your five and three agreed with overall trend direction. Okay, and you want to see that. You want to see alignment like that. Now, obviously, market profile, we're in a flat, rangy market right now, so market profile has been calling the range on gold. That is a brick wall buy and sell. So, obviously, with market delta, it's been catching the range. 
that's how we want to do it. We will use the, the nine, five, and three together to catch these setups. 